Is your speaker page converting? Mm -hmm. I got to work on mine. I will tell you that. We all know we need a speaker page in order to be taken seriously, in order to bring in new leads, in order to help convert people who are interested in bringing us in. It's important. So on the show today, I'm talking to a copywriter who's going to give us all the goods on an awesome speaker page. Hey everybody, my name is Sally Z. I am your speaker coach and I'm so delighted to empower big-hearted entrepreneurs like you to leverage your authentic voice so you can finally scale your impact. And today on the show, we are talking with Kathy Young. Now, Kathy is this super talented copywriter. She has been working on people's speaker pages. And I was like, Kathy, what makes an awesome, compelling, convertible? That's not the right word. Converting? A high converting speaker page. What does it take? And we dig into it together. I want to share with you a fun little freebie that I'm going to offer you along with this episode. It's just a quick PDF summarizing what is it that we need on our speaker page. So it summarizes everything that Kathy and I talk about today. So if you are curious about that, I want you to head over to the website. It's bemoved.com forward slash speaker page, and you can download this helpful little resource. All right, now let's dive into the show with Kathy Young. So I help people develop a signature talk, but but even if you are you haven't developed that yet, but you're out and you want to speak more, the speaker page is important, right? It's That's a marker to people that you yeah. are speaking, that you want to speak more. It's like if you don't have a speaker page on your website, you can't really expect people to know that you want to speak and that you want to speak more. What is the best way for us to do this? Like any copywriting in general, I really like to start from understanding brand strategy, like who do you really serve? What is, what do you do? What is the specific transformation that you want to help people achieve? Because there are some, I'm assuming there might be some speakers who are more in, you know, the corporate setting versus some who are a little bit more yeah. kind of free flowing, works with creatives, fun, personality yeah. driven, and there's no wrong way to do it. It's just a matter of like, knowing your audience when it comes to creating your speaker page it's not all the time are you speaking on a stage like sometimes you're speaking like on a podcast exactly just like this and sometimes you're speaking more likely than not nowadays on a virtual stage for a mastermind or for a, a summit or whatever it is so yeah absolutely being able to know your audience know where you know the context of where you're speaking and what they need so your speaker page can serve for all those types of like speaking engagements not just the traditional being on a stage but definitely in any type of way that you're sharing your expertise for people who are like well i haven't spoke i haven't had that like big opportunity yet well you do bring with you all this other experience that is really relevant because if we are a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, you are likely working on showing up and being present and being visible. And all of that is relevant experience, especially in this virtual context. So don't forget about it. Bring it in. I like that. Right. Is there any kind of basic checklist in mind of like every speaker page needs? Mm. Yeah, your topics and maybe even adding context as to this topic is really good for this type of audience. So whether it's for a smaller intimate audience in like a mm. workshop group setting or like a larger, you know, bigger stage and or virtual summit, I think it's also good to share if you've spoken on different pa like places before to kind of build that credibility for people. This is more of like a more logistical thing, but having high resolution photos on your speaker page slash media kit, that way people can immediately go to your page, download them. Mm. So something else too, that's really important are including testimonials. You almost want to think of your speaker page as a sales page in a sense, because you're selling your expertise. People want to know how, how your message is translated to audiences. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really crucial. And, and the last thing, of course, is there's probably a few more add-ons that are kind of nice to have, but including your bios. So your, your professional short bio 
or like a longer bio, depending on, again, the audience. So mm -hmm. um, that way people can okay. have a quick excerpt of like, okay, this is exactly what this person does. This is how I'm going to present. It sounds, it sounds dumb, but when you're like, here's my media kit, you're like, wow, fancy. This person yeah. has a media kit. Here are, here are my high res photos that you can download. And here, here's the person to contact about booking, even if, even if it's you. But I think that those are some things that you can include that help set, set you up for what's next for you. Like I'm always pushing people to set yourself up for the, for the, the next level so that you're not approaching it as like, well, I'm only speaking a little bit right now. And I'm blah, blah, blah. it's like, well, don't set up your speaker page with that attitude. It's like set up the speaker right. page for what you want it to be for how you want to be taken seriously. And, and you start to grow into that as you build it. But if you don't build that, it, it really won't happen. Because people don't really know how you speak until you speak. They want to see you. They want to see what does this really look like? People just want to see what you're like in action. And a photo is fine, but a video is better. I think the most important part of the speaker page, any piece of copy is like, including your personality and sharing your brand mm. story. So good. Where can people find out more about you and what you do and in case they want some copywriting help because she's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. So again, I'm um, Kathy with Rekindle Communications. So you can find me at rekindlecommunications.com. Thank you for joining me. I so appreciate it. 